What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today we're going to be talking about top four crypto play to earn coins that I think you guys should hold in your portfolio. And this is all sparked from Axie Infinity's skyrocketed like yearly chart that's happened this year. Right now, Axie Infinity is $123, and at the beginning of the year, it was less than 50 cents. So, if you guys like what you're about to hear, please like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and let's dive right in. So, why are we talking about this? Well, as you guys know, cryptocurrency is a new space, but let's talk about gaming, because we all know that gaming in the actual world outside of cryptocurrency is 174 billion dollars at least in the year of 2021 that has profited in its market cap and i'm talking about the global market cap so that means there are millions upon millions of users and gamers who are looking for the next new thing but what differentiates the outside gaming world to the cryptocurrency play to earn gaming world well it's all due to the gamers and the users having rights to their NFTs and also that they can earn money playing these games, not having to wait to compete in major competitions, but rather they can actually stay at home and work a nine to five by actually playing games. So what are the four different play to earn games that I'm looking at that I would like to invest in? Well, let's start with the first one. And the first one goes with Sandbox. Now, the reason I like Sandbox and the reason I want to hold it in my portfolio, well, I always want to make sure that there is, is always a set supply, that there's a max supply and a total supply. And uh, right now, Axie Infinity also has a max supply as well. And not many people got in early, but the people who did made tons of money. And right now, Sandbox is at 77 cents. Now, why do I choose Sandbox? Well, Snoop Dogg has decided to partner with Sandbox to create a metaverse where people can meet uh, other, uh, I guess, music enthusiasts or say they are people who decide that they want to, you know, commute with their own community in the same music industry. And also they can build land, they can acquire land, uh, and also decide to hang up their artwork. And if you haven't seen this, definitely check it out. Uh, you can actually hang up uh, some of your NFT artworks in a hallway, say for instance. So if you have a plot of land and you develop a building, and in this hallway, you can actually hang up your NFTs. It could be a board, eight yacht club, it could be crypto punks, and that's what's really cool. So people can actually visit your location, look at your artwork, and also mingle around other people who are in the same genre of music. And what's great is you can actually create vehicles, you can create different Snoop Dogs, you can, you can just do so much. But I like this is because it's similar to Minecraft and we all know what happened to Minecraft. Minecraft blew up and also people in school, young kids started using Minecraft uh, as part of their curriculum. So it wasn't just a game, but people could actually you know, study in school to earn credits to play on Minecraft. So imagine Sandbox is the next new thing where you can actually play to earn uh, and sell NFTs through Sandbox. And also, you know, on other note, Walking Dead also partnered with Sandbox as well to create an immersive experience, which I thought was really cool. And again, same thing with owning plots of land and also trying to survive. Again, Sandbox is definitely leading this charge. and I think they definitely took the idea of uh, Minecraft's uh, block design and making it user friendly so that it's not just catered towards adults, but it's also catering safely towards younger adults as well. And probably, who knows, maybe people working in a uh, elementary school, preschool, it could be used for education in some way. So I'm very bullish on Sandbox and that's why I think you should hold Sandbox in your portfolio. So that's my fourth coin that I think you guys should hold. So what's my third? Well, my third one is My Neighbor Alice. So if you don't know what My Neighbor Alice is, I didn't really know it at first as, as well. Uh, I, 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 you know, I am in my 30s right now. I don't play games, but I'm always aware of what the next new trend is. So My Neighbor Alice has a total set supply of 100 million uh, coins, which is great. So it's a very limited supply. Already there's uh, so much being uh, traded uh, in a 24 hour volume, around 97 million. So that's really good to see that there are users using this space. And if I look at the year chart, you know, it, it didn't start too long ago. It started in, um, 
in March of 2021. So it's fairly new and it hasn't really gone up or down. It's been trading sideways. So I feel like we're in early stages of this and right now it's at $12.38. So why not get in now? Uh, we're gonna check out the website right now. With the website, it's really cool. It's very simple, easy to read, and I think anybody that wants to enter this space needs to know that the websites that they offer people who are entering the space, it needs to be easy to understand, easy to dissect, because you know a lot of these different gaming websites can't even get their websites down, so how can they actually get their game down? And what I love about this is the tokenomics. So if we go into tokenomics, Alice is the native currency, which you can find on KuCoin uh, if you ever want to buy, but it just tells you basically the functionality of the token. Uh, like the Alice token can be used to purchase in-game assets. Also, people can earn Alice tokens while playing. And staking rewards, you could stake your Alice tokens. Uh, that way it helps with uh, the ecosystem as well. And also people who do stake their uh, tokens or are token holders, the governance systems allows you to predict, uh, at least give some insight to the team on how the game development and growth of it should look like in the future. So you have a say in how the game is going to function uh, in the near term. So it gives, again, power back to the gamer. It's not just you buy a game, you play it, and then maybe you buy things here and there. You can't really make money off of games outside of the blockchain world because you're not incentivized to be part of that community. You're just a gamer. That's why they have these world competitions everywhere, but not everybody does that. Of course, there's staking yields, NFT collateral, NFT rentals. Again, this is very unique because with NFT rentals, you just rent, say, for instance, a plot of land, and then you can uh, give it back. But what's great about it is that you can't destroy, destroy or resell something that's already borrowed. So it can't be uh, manipulated or scammed out of someone's uh, NFT original. So that's what's really cool. And then there's collateral. So that's these are just uh, minor things. And I always look towards partnerships as well. So they partnered with Anchor, which is great. Sandbox, again, they're forming great partnerships. These are the things that I look forward to. And look at the tokenomics. Simply here, the play to earn, 8 million can be earned from uh, gamers like you and I. Obviously, they allocated a simple uh, token sale uh, in the very beginning so that people, if they want to enter this space, they can do a pre-token sale. Advisors and teams, they uh, end up getting the 15 million Alice. I mean, the list goes on and on. You can go from there. It gives you a roadmap. And right now we're in December 2021, which is Q4, right? So we're still in early stages. So in January 2022, right, that is going to be the full release of the avatar customizations, the new clothes, hairstyles, eye coloring. I mean, that's just basically the full roadmap. And just to kind of give you a little video of what it looks like this is the type of gameplay that we're looking at and you can see it's very interactive it's very cool it's almost better than decentraland and that's why decentraland doesn't make this list because decentraland just seems like it's for adults in some way this you can see being easily accepted by children and knowing this people younger than 18 are the majority of players that end up spending money on these things they ask their parents to spend money on simple things like this so they can so that they can actually just enjoy it. but in this one they could actually make money doing that so that's why i'm really bullish on alice uh my neighbor alice and i think you should hold down your uh your cryptocurrency wallet so my uh second choice that i want you guys to be looking at is chain guardians chain guardians has a max supply and total supply of 120 million and tr currently trading at 90 cents now, Chain Guardians is a newer project. It's very, uh, I would say, a, a bit of an anime feel. I can see this catering towards the anime audience. Uh, let's look at what it's been doing year to date. So, uh, obviously, it started, uh, I think it started in March. Let's see here. Yes, it also pretty much started in March as well in 2021. And again, it hasn't really gained or lost too much. I think it's just been holding steady. But again, this is fairly new as well. What I like about this game is the, the development, the website, the, the team itself. And you can tell, like, look at this artwork. Look at this um, way that they're presenting themselves. They obviously have a good team behind them. And they, you can do play NFT minting. You can do play with the RPG. And this is the whole point of collectibles. It has artwork that you can collect as cards, as NFTs. You can also use that for the gaming side of things. And also, they always have events going on. There's always something happening within this company and it allows you to feel like wow they're not just in development they're really building a community here they have 
giveaways. And also down below, they also have the different type of guardians that you could be. So you could be Bitsy, you can be Seth Buter. I mean, the list goes on and on. And that's what I love about it. Like the artwork does matter a lot. And I believe that if people do see with their eyes and buy with their eyes, this is one of those great things that I think you can get involved in. So Chain Guardians is definitely in it, and Q4 lays out the map. But I also want to check out the Guardian program because that's also one of the things that captured my eyes as well. So what's great about the program is that CGG, which is the token for Chain Guardians, which is also the currency for that, well, if you uh, want to unlock benefits, you can stake your Chain Guardian tokens and receive all these different exclusive offers, early access. I mean, the list goes on and on. And you and you want to uh, enable your audience as a developer to stake and contribute because the more you stake, the more that the team can use those funds to build and branch out and make the program and gaming experience better. And also maybe even help with the marketing a bit as well. But sometimes even the community itself can help sell this as well. And they can, you know, they have a great Twitter feed. Again, they have their tokenomics, which you can check out as well. But again, one of the things I thought was really cool is, okay, they have here the early supporters, but later on after they ended up getting uh, more integration from uh, tech developers and business developments, they started developing relationships with Chainlink, with OpenSea, Elrond, Polygon. I mean, this is a great list. I mean, we even have Decentraland, Orion. This has so much potential. And so this is really gearing up to be something really uh, amazing for people to learn. I mean, this kind of reminds me when uh, Final Fantasy first came out and the gameplay used to look just like this. But again, it's one of the only blockchain play to earn coins that actually involves anime. And then that is not tapped. If I feel like there's something missing there and you can tell the gameplay is really fun. So guys, this is my second coin, why I think you should have this in your portfolio. It looks fun and I encourage you guys to dollar cost average or maybe just hold a little bit here. Um, and then so my last one, my first and last one, and I mentioned this before, is Star Atlas. So Star Atlas is really early in its stages. It, the founder and many people in the team have mentioned that Star Atlas won't launch until many years so don't expect that any of these different cryptos is going to flip and turn you into a millionaire in just the next month or three again these are uh, long-term holds i'm talking about a year or two three and you got to get in now so that you you will be in there at the right time again none of this is financial advice all these different cryptocurrencies none of it is financial advice because i'm not a financial advisor I'm just a financial investor and everything in here is my own financial opinion and entertainment. So why am I bullish on Star Alice? Well, it's built on Solana fruit. Like Solana is fast, easy, and just everything about it is just geared up to be successful. And Star Alice is one of the only few games that's built on Solana. So with Star Alice, right now we have about 36 billion uh, tokens, which is a little different. And there's a reason why. It's because the universe is so massive. And let me, before I move on, just know that it's about 0 0.09 cents per coin. Now, when we go to the website, you understand that Star Alice is a very vast world. It's huge. The It's endless. The That's why it is so ambitious. And I don't think this could be built on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. This has to be built on Solana because it has to be quick. It can't freeze. It can't have any problems where when somebody's buying something, the transaction's either too expensive, meaning the gas fees, or that it takes forever to send a transaction. So you need something efficient and fast, and Star Alice can be building on that. And with their website, obviously there's so much going on. You can see how massive it is. And also there are three different factions which you join. And when you join each of these factions, you're set in there permanently. You can't change it in the middle of the game. Once you create a user account and you choose a faction, that's who you're gonna be for the rest of the game. So that's why they're like, you have to choose wisely. And what's great about this is, since it's a big universe, right now on their website, you can buy uh, shuttles and ships. And so with those ships, they actually cost a lot. They can be around 3,500 US dollars to even $10,000. I mean, the reason they're so expensive now is because they're gonna be worth millions later as the founder quote unquote said during an interview. So why would that be? Well, how are you gonna travel through space if you don't have a ship, right? 
but what's interesting about these ships is that they can they always come out with a different design i feel like every other week and it just it that means that it's endless and with these ships you can travel throughout the universe and you can buy certain things uh with say for instance nft so uh you can buy certain things in the marketplace that allows you to you know buy anything inside or outside the game and integrate it into the system but what's also really interesting is that the founder did mention that if you go into space uh, and you have all these different things like NFTs that you held or properties that you bought on the Star Atlas page, well, if someone decides to uh, attack you, say for instance, you're out into the universe, you decide to go out by yourself. Well, that's not a really good idea because there are pirates, meaning there could be other players who want to take advantage of you and decide they want to plan an attack on you because you're alone. Well, guess what? If you get destroyed and your ship gets destroyed, guess who gets to keep your uh, profit and gains through those NFTs? It's the pirates. It's those other people. It doesn't have to be just pirates. It could be just other gamers. And that's the thing that you need to know is that this is a very unique but also very ambitious project because is destroying someone's property, someone's ship, is that technically a security? We don't know yet. And that's what they're trying to figure out. And the tokenomics that we we're talking about, you know, in the billions that they had, the founder even said that that may not even be the set supply, that that could actually change. So the, the billions of tokens of Star Alice could actually shrink to even millions or maybe less than that. Who knows? So, you know, that's why I'm really bullish on this project. It has so much ambition. Again, definitely check out the website. You can actually play the game right now. You can actually buy ships. Again, very early in the stages. And so, so happy that someone is thinking very broad. And if this happens to do so well, then it's going to be great for people who are early adopters. So, guys, with that said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, none of this was financial advice, my own financial opinion. But again, if there's a game that I haven't addressed in here that you guys want me to make a video of, I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, these are just my two, uh, these are my top four play to earn coins that I think are going to do great. The gaming industry is the future. And again, the reason I get into this is because there are more gains to be had. Yes, I could put money into Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is a store of value. But if you want to get massive gains, gaming, I believe, in my own opinion, is going to skyrocket. Just like Axie Infinity, they were just the first ones to do it. I haven't done Decentraland or Engine Coin or any other ones just yet, but I want to hear your thoughts below. Uh, tell me in the comments below, what do you think of the games that I mentioned? Do you feel like I had covered the best aspects of these games? Is there something that you're attracted to about these different NFT projects? Are you actively participating in any of these games? Well, I want to know in the comments down below because I am certainly very bullish on all four of these. So with that said, guys, I hope you liked this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time.